Let's take a look at another stoichiometry problem. In this case, if 456.15 grams of CO2 are produced, how many moles of MgCO3 were reacted? So, we are going from grams of one substance to moles of a different substance. So, we're going to have to require at least two steps. In this case, we're going to have to go from so we have grams of CO2 with moles of MgCO3. The only way we can convert between one compound to another is if both are in moles. So the grams of CO2, we're going to first have to convert into moles of CO2. Once we have the moles of CO2, then we're going to be able to use our balanced equation to convert into moles of MgCO3. To get from grams of CO2 to moles of CO2, we're going to need the molar mass of CO2. Let's make sure you're being very clear about what you're getting the molar mass of, what you're working with. It goes from moles of CO2 to moles of MgCO3. We're going to use our balanced equation. So always map these things out. Our molar mass of CO2, C, if we look on our balance, on our, our periodic table, it's 12.0107 grams per mole. O, 15.9994 grams per mole. We have two of them, so we're going to multiply that one by two. So we're going to find the total here to find our molar mass. So we get our total of 44.0095 grams per mole. And we've worked with this compound before, so it should be familiar. So that's for CO2. So I'm going to actually go through my conversion. I have 456.15 grams of CO2. I remember I'm trying to get from grams to moles of CO2. So we want moles of CO2, grams of CO2. If we look, it's 44.095 grams for every one mole of CO2. So I have 44.0095 on the bottom here. One mole on the top. I can calculate this out. Uh, to get 10.3648, so on, moles. I'm going to round to the proper number of significant figures. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here. So I want to round to 5 significant figures. 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have 10. 0.365 moles of CO2. So that gets rid of my first step here. So I have my 10.365 moles of CO2. I want to get from moles of CO2 to moles of MgCO3. So moles MgCO3, moles CO2. I need to find this ratio for my balanced equation. That over one. So we line everything up. If we look MgCO3, there's no number there, so the coefficient is 1. For CO2, there's no number there either. The coefficient is 1. So I'm going to put 1s in there. I do suggest put the numbers in so that you don't think that you missed a step. Even if it's 1, you want to make sure and track it. Our moles CO2 are going to cancel, so we have 10.365 moles of GCO3.